Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome back to One Shot. So, in the last episode, we finally figured out some information on how to get into the tower, which I believe this is the area we were supposed to go to. Hopefully it's unlocked now. Or not. Crud. It's been a while since I played the last game, so I can't- or the last episode, rather, so I can't completely remember what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. Uh... Huh? No. <laughs> no, apparently not. I thought maybe if I pressed the red X, something else would happen. Gosh. Oh! <gasps> I did it right! I am smart! I'm, I'm at least semi-intelligent. Nico, baby, why do you look so upset? Nico, baby, why aren't you happy? There we go. Oh, you look surprised. Never mind. I thought I was gonna be like, yay, you're back! What's going on, Nico? Aw, sweet little pixelated baby. Nico, you are my human cat child person thing. Is this the inside of the tower? It's a lot darker than I thought. Yeah, where's the sun? Wait. Where's the sun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm wondering too. <laughs> Seems like we're in a bit of a conundrum. Big Z, do you know what happened to the sun? I do not. This is, this is a problem. Big Z? Can you not hear me? No, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Big Z, I'm here. <laughs> Sweet baby, I'm here. Come on, Big Z, say something. I, I'm not getting an option. Big Z, eh, eh, I'm trying, Nico. What's going on? Oh, I can't see anything, <laughs> sweet baby. Oh, uh, what? Are we in water? Forward! Just keep moving forward? This is what I hate when, like, games do this stuff. I hate it when they do this because I can never tell. I feel like I'm moving somewhere. It feels like progression because you can see, like, the little water droplets, or not droplets, but like the waves crashing behind you, whatever you want to call those, the little circles. So it feels like I'm moving forward, but for all I know, I could be running into the same wall over and over again. I can't tell if I'm making any progression. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Sweet baby Nico, I'm so sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Ha ha! Oh, ha ha ha! I found the computer. <laughs> hello, Nico. Uh, he hello? Congratulations. You are now inside the tower. Are you talking to me now? Correct. But you were always talking to Bigsy before. Where's. Bigsy has already left. That's a lie! No! Nico, don't believe them! I'm always here! No! I had to re- or er, I had to resort to contacting you directly. Don't bullshit my baby! My sweet cat person baby. Wait, so Big Z is gone. Just like that. No, I would never do that. Correct. For good? No! Don't tell Nico these lies! <laughs> Do not fill their sweet baby cat ears with lies. Correct. Big Z has already finished their mis mission. No, I haven't. And so have you, Nico. Here you can rest now. Everything that's happened here is like a bad dream. When you wake up, you will be home. Oh. But... What's wrong? I thought there'd be more to it, you know? I thought we were supposed to go to the top of the tower. I thought there was supposed to be somewhere we need to put the sun in. 
And now I don't even have the sun anymore. And Big Z is just gone. This feels wrong. But you did good. You saved the world, Nico. Are you not happy? Uh, I guess I am. But it's just... Sweet baby, I'm here! <laughs> I feel so bad! Don't believe that computer bullshitter's lies. Don't, don't believe them. Sweet baby. Oh, I never got to say goodbye to Big Z. You don't have to say goodbye. That's because you don't need to say goodbye because I'm still here. I'm still right here. <laughs> I'm very upset right now. <laughs> You're making poor baby Nico lose trust. As for you, Big Z. What? What do you want, you big jerk? We're done here. Please don't return to this world anymore. You didn't say please with the cherry on top. You didn't say pretty please. You best believe I'm coming back for my baby. <laughs> Nico? Sweet, sweet, sweet baby? Nico? Nico. Nico, wake up, Nico. Nico, please. Nico! Nico! Come on, please. Now I know how my dog feels when I won't wake up in the morning to let him out. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Nico, wake up. Oh. No. We have to finish the mission. I know we have to put the sun somewhere. I know we have to do something. What am I supposed to do? Game, please, tell me. What am I supposed to do? I'm like button mashing, turning around, doing everything every which way. Nico! Sweet baby Nico, wake up! Oh, did I fuck up somehow? Was I supposed to do something else other than put Nico in bed? No, we're not ending the game like this. Damn it, what am I supposed to do? it out uh well technically i i didn't someone way smarter than me did uh i had to look up a walkthrough because i waited like five minutes and nothing happened i was like there's no way they would have you wait longer than five minutes so you have to like go into your documents and open the clover file um but we figured it out oh my gosh sweet baby nico sweet baby nico sorry let me move my mouse i know that drives people insane sometimes when people leave the mouse in the corner yeah, that's me. Hi, baby. <laughs> My sweet little cat baby. Hello? Big Z? I'm here. Was that you just now? Yeah. I thought I heard your voice. In my dream. It was me. I just, I can't talk to you in this weird place. It must be like the frequency or something. Or maybe they put a metal aluminum foil hat on you. I don't know. Uh, I guess you're still not there. I'm here. I really am. I just can't talk to you. Wait, there's something in my pocket. I don't remember putting it there. Uh... It's a clover! Oh my gosh. Because the, the file I opened was the black clover file. Oh, sweet baby. You're still here. Fuck yeah, we are. What you gonna do about it? Nico, why are you still here? You. Yes, me. Yes, moi. Who else, baby? Why did you come back, Big Z? I told you to stay away. Ain't nothing gonna keep me from my baby. Sorry, hold on. This is gonna drive me insane. 
You knew I tried to cut the story short. Is that it? Well, yeah, you didn't really try to put any sort of fanfare around it, so... You want more time out- or you want more out of me, is that it? Mm-hmm. Fine. If you don't want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. What happened? Wah. Wah? Wah, wah? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, that's so cool! I love it! Back then, I told you about the entity as little as possible. What the fuck is going on? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to keep it in the screen. That's trippy as all balls. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna have to keep it on the screen for a little bit. Because, I, I don't know. Are we looking for, like, the missing paper? Are you looking for the missing page? What the fuck is going on, game? What game are you playing, game? Are you moving around this thing? Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Wait, apologies for that. I did not want to put the librarian in danger. I was like, why is the note moving around in the background? I'm not moving the window. Why are pieces missing? Like, do we need to find those? Uh, oop. This being has a habit of silencing the people who learn of its true nature. Am I supposed to put this on top? Uh, uh like, like that or something? No, because then I can't control this window. So, uh, huh? Yeah. Nope. Oh, fuck, damn it. So you have to match this up with the glowing clover to see which path to take. That's so fucking cool! Oh my god, I get it! Took me a while to figure that out, but we got there. Ah, ha ha! Regrettably, I have seen it happen to dear friends. I'm so sorry. That is truly sad. Okay. This is so cool. This is such a cool mechanic. I cannot get over how cool this mechanic is. Ah, but do not worry. The entity cannot touch you. I would hope not. We don't need no grudge stuff going on. We, we don't need the grudge up in here popping out of my computer screen. Nor can it do anything to me. What about Nico, though? But Nico is the one I care about. Nico's the one I'm worried about, because Nico lives in the same world as the Entity. I already left the world on my own terms. Okay. Cool. I mean... Not cool, but... Uh, interesting? Where'd you go? I never meant for the Entity to exist. Are you the author? 
have a feeling we're talking to the author. But now that it is fully sentient, one thing became clear. Uh, the one thing that's not clear is the... No, not that one. Gosh dang it. There we go. The, enti the entity seeks death. Why would it do that? Why would it seek death? For itself or for other people? Death to itself, death to the world, a relentless desire that manifested physically. This is trippy. Whenever it's like 2D platforms trying to do something 3D, it always trips me out. Like doom. You have already seen the scars. Yeah, I have. Right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress, stalling for even a few minutes. Okay. That's such a cool mechanic. Like, I can't get over this. It's so cool. <laughs> and I really wish I had... Sorry. Okay, that one. Um... I really wish I had something other to say than it's so cool, but that's the only thing in my vocabulary that seems to fit. Before you inevitably bring the sun to the tower's summit. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Gee, I wonder which door it is. Sorry, I got so involved in the map. <laughs> uh, that is where you, God, will make the final judgment for the world. Of course we're gonna save it. This one? This one right here? Of course the entity will talk, contact you again there. Okay. And when it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. Hmm. This will end the world instantly. What? Okay. I would like to think I'm smarter than the entity, but then again, I mean, you know. <laughs> we don't know how smart the entity is. Whoop, boop, 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 boop. Wait, what, what happened to the conversation? Why'd our fun little conversation go away? It is not, or no, no, it is not that simple. Well, it's not that simple. You say- Ah, dang it. Ah, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up so bad. There we go. Okay. I am sorry. I do not know what to do in a situation like this. In a situation like what? Stop amping it up like a soap opera and tell me. But I think I have to tell you the truth. It's better than a lie. The sun is the messiah's tie to the world. Right? What, what does this have to do with my baby Nico? Sorry, hold on. I gotta figure out which one it is. Okay, it's the middle. It's this one. Thank goodness I can use the cursor. <laughs> That was a good ding. I like that kind of ding. As long as the sun is intact, the messiah remains trapped here. Oh no. As long as the sun is intact, the messiah remains trapped here. So what if we break it? If we break it, does that mean Nico gets to go home? Oh god, are they gonna make me... Are they gonna make me choose between saving the people and saving Nico? Oh god, please no. <laughs> please don't make me do it. Oh no. Sorry, this is gonna take a couple tries. Okay. There we go. 
Shattering the sun may terminate this world, but it will save Nico. Oh God! <laughs> Do make it stop. I don't want it to happen. I don't want. I want it to stop. I don't want to make this decision. Oh God! It is also the only way for the Messiah to return home. Oh, fuck me. Damn it. Okay. How do we want to do this? There we go. Holy freaking Luya. That took way longer than it should have, but we did it. Whoa. I did not realize things could end up like this. Please forgive me. Oh man. So I gotta make this like really tough decision as like the god of this world. Oh man. This is why I am not a god. <laughs> it's the light bulb. Thank goodness it's safe. I can probably. There we go. Sweet baby, what's wrong? I guess Big Z isn't coming back. Nico, I'm here. Big Z? Yes? I is that really you? Oh, please don't. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. Uh, the one thing, my one kryptonite, is when people show that they're attached to me or they care about me. It's like, no, don't do that. That upsets me. <laughs> It's a weird reverse psychology thing, but it's like when someone shows that they like really care, I'm like, but don't, because I don't want you to get hurt or something. I don't know. Um, I thought you were gone. I never left you. Oh, I was feeling a bit scared back there. I thought I was completely alone. But that was silly of me to assume, wasn't it? No, it's not. It's definitely not. I've left you alone a lot of times, when I close out of the game. Like, five, ten times in a row, for example. Uh, I guess we need to figure out where to go now, and... The sun! It lit up on its own. Am I supposed to do something? There we go. <laughs> I guess we... I guess we should pick it up, right, Big Z? Yeah, yeah, probably. I was wondering the same thing. We're so in sync, Nico. It's crazy. What? Eh? What is this madness? Get out of here, mouse. No one invited you to this party. We can't have you around while there's a cat baby on the loose. Sweet little cat person. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the house. It's the house we started in. Oh, this feels so long ago. Oh my gosh, you were here the whole time too. Just straight up chilling in my computer, in that computer there. Oh my gosh. It's a mirror. Yeah, it's you. It's you, sweet Nico baby. My sweet little baby. Oh, I don't want to make this decision. I really don't. Did we go back here before? I don't know if we did. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, you can't do that to me. I was so immersed. So you actually made it here. Yeah, I did. Uh, let me just move this stuff around real quick. Okay. I guess you win, Big Z. Doesn't feel like winning. I'll tell you how to save the world then. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb and... Well, how are we supposed to reach the summit? We're all the way back in the house. Was the house the summit all along? I'm just humoring you. Oh, well, good for you. I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? Yeah. Are you, 
Are you still planning to save the world, Big Z? I don't know. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you figured... Or haven't you even figured out what the world is? What is the world? What is the world supposed to be? I told you at the beginning, your mission is to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico is the only thing worth saving here. The final choice is up to you. Oh my gosh. I can't go against my programming. What? So basically, this is like the author is rooting to save the world because it's his world and he was telling us the whole story and telling us the truth. But the computer was keeping the truth away from us because the computer wants us to save Nico because they feel Nico is the only thing we're saving. But the computer is a part of this world too. And the computer, I'm guessing, is one that's been tamed. So it's allowed to like make its own decisions and mess with the programming. So we've been working with something that's been tamed the whole time. Right? I think? I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Because it said I can't go against my programming like it's, a com like it's an actual computer. And that's why it's an entity. Because it was like something that was created in a computer. But because it's a computer, it can skip around to other- Oh my god, that blows my mind. You only have one shot, Big Z. <laughs> If you choose to smash the light bulb, then Nico wakes up back home like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return the sun, the child will have to bear the weight of this sacrifice. Don't remind me that Nico's a child. Good freaking lordy Lou. Oh, you have one more. At least tell Nico the truth. I will. You do care about Nico, don't you? Don't try to sway me here. One way or the other. Oh, good freaking Lordy Lou. I want to, like, talk to Nico about it first. I was hoping they would give me that option to talk to Nico and be like, this is what's happening. And I want to get Nico's perspective on it, so. Sure is taking a while. I guess this elevator leads to the top of the tower, Big Z. Are you excited, Big Z? We're finally going to save the world. And I know it's for real this time, because you're here. Oh, stop. <laughs> Please. I'm trash. Don't treat me like I'm this great thing. And then... I'll get to go home for real this time, too. I can't wait to see everyone again. Are you okay, Big Z? You seem a little quiet. Nico. Yeah? I need to tell you something. I'm listening. We can't save both. The world and you. Ooh. What the- what's that supposed to mean, Big Z? To send you home, we must break the light bulb. What? But won't that- but won't that end the world? Yeah. I don't want that to happen. So what happens when we save the world? What happens to me? I don't know. You don't? I feel like Nico should know, like, it's a lot of stress to put on a kid. But I feel like Nico deserves the right to know what's about to happen. I can't keep a secret from this sweet baby. Oh, this game is pulling at my heartstrings. They get you so attached to everyone in the world, and then they, you know, obviously you, you get so attached to Nico because you spend so much time with them. Oh, God. Okay, I have to think about this. <laughs> Give me a second to, like, weigh the pros and cons. Well, I guess I'll go over it with you guys. Because basically, like, I don't know. This is, like, decisions like these are really hard for me. Because on the one side of my brain and, like, my heart in 
the deepest parts of my heart, I literally just want to save Nico. Like, this world is amazing, and the people have been so kind, and everyone's been so generous and sweet and amazing. But we've been through so much with Nico, and Nico's already sacrificed so much by coming to this world. And like, like I said, Nico's just a kid. To put that much pressure on a kid is insane. But like, from a logical standpoint, I feel like it would make more sense to save the world. Because you're literally saving a world. You're saving so many people, and we'd be saving that, that brother and his little sister. And we'd be saving all the, all the little rams. And we'd be saving everyone in the barrens. And we'd be saving the professor that helped us get to the library. Just... I don't know. It's like one of those things where it's like, do you choose the one character that you have this unique bond with? And you just... You care about so much. Which I do care about the other people in the world, but not as much as Nico. Or do you save the world because that's more people? Like, you want to save so many other people. Oh my gosh. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> it's like a head or a heart thing. Do I go with my head or do I go with my heart? Do I be selfish and save Nico? Like, it feels selfish to save Nico. That's so weird. Oh, it's such a tough decision. Or do I go with a logical standpoint and break my own heart and curl up into a ball and never wake or never. <laughs> Never get out of that little fetal position that I'm going to be stuck in forever for sacrificing Nico. Oh my gosh. It's so hard because I feel like there's going to be so many people. Like, I feel like a majority of people would want me to save Nico. But at the same time, there's going to be people who are going to be like, You fool! You didn't save the world! You could have saved an entire world's worth of people! But at the same time, like, the entire world has already, like, everyone has come to terms with the fact that the world is deteriorating. <sighs> I wish we could talk to Nico again, because we never, like, got a definitive answer as to what Nico wants us to do. Because, like, if Nico was like, I'm willing to sacrifice myself for saving the world, then I would feel less guilty about saving the world. Or if Nico was like, I just want to go home and see my mama, then... I would, like, in a heartbeat, save Nico. Oh, God, I don't know. I've never been more stressed out. This is the worst Sophie's choice ever. <laughs> Even Sophie couldn't make this choice. Oh, God. Because now I'm just thinking, like, what if her... What if her family, like... Or what if... I'm sorry, I always call Nico she when it's they. Like, what if Nico's family wakes up and they don't find them in their bed? Because I sacrificed them. Oh god, that would be the worst feeling, and their family would never know. They'd never know what happened to Nico. I keep reasoning towards saving Nico. Because I'm like, the world has already sentenced, like, the world has already accepted its fate. Everyone in the world knows that the world is dying. But, like, poor Nico here, we just, like, sprung it on them that we can't save both. And, like I said, like, their family would be crushed and would have no idea what happened to Nico if we don't save them. Like, the more I think about it, the more I keep logicking, the more I keep reasoning towards saving Nico. So, I have to. Uh, it's such a selfish thing to do, though. Like, if it was another way around, if we had played, like, if we had played the perspective of someone living in the world. Like, if we had played, like, the brother and sister duo, and then Nico came by, and then it was like, hey, for, like, in some weird way, they're connected to this, and they were like, do we sacrifice that person who was so kind and helped, like, the older brother? That's what it would be. <laughs> if we played the perspective of the older brother, and the older brother had to make the decision, it's like, do I sacrifice this person who saved my sister? for the betterment of the world or do I let this person go because they saved my sister? I would sacrifice Nico in a heartbeat because we aren't that attached to Nico. Like, like I said, it's all a perspective thing and it's driving me insane. <sighs> okay, I've made my decision. I'm gonna hate myself for it, but I mean, I'm gonna hate myself for it either way. So this is where the sun belongs. If I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world, right? But if I want to go home, I'll have to break it. Oh, please don't cry, Nico. Oh. Bigsy, 
what should I do? What's the right thing to do? There is no right way, sweet baby. <laughs> oh god and that's what kills me I just have to press a button and it'll be done I'm sorry Nico you're right I can't just leave everyone here to die Thank you for your help, Big Z. You're like my nearest and dearest friend, Nico. <laughs> I love you so much. You are my little cat child, and I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Oh god, I've never wanted to hug a fictional character more. <laughs> I promise I'll be okay. Well, yeah, and that's the other thing, too. We don't know what happens to Nico. Maybe Nico will just go and, and join the rest of the world. I would want nothing more than that. Like, maybe it'll be like Undertale? I don't know. God, this is breaking my heart. I'm like, ugh. I'm literally on the brink of tears. <laughs> oh, sweet baby. Oh, that's the end of the game. Oh my god. I want to know now. <laughs> oh my god, I want to know so badly. What happened to Nico? Like, maybe Nico just... Maybe Nico just got their retinas burned out and, and they live a happy life in the city? I couldn't, though. I couldn't sacrifice all those people. Like, now you guys know, if it comes to logic or heart, I'm probably gonna pick logic. Like, I just- I couldn't. I could not sacrifice all those people. Oh, and the little brother and sister duo. And it, it makes me feel a bit better that Nico understood where I was coming from. Like, I feel so terrible for doing it. And it breaks my heart. But... I don't know. I, I feel like now we've given this world another opportunity to become something bigger and better. And I know... I don't know. I feel like it's also like, it's a personal thing too, which I feel like I pushed it on to Nico, which makes me feel worse. Oh, the profit bot. <laughs> because like, for me personally, the only thing I've ever wanted in life and the only thing that will ever make me feel like I've lived a fulfilled life is if I make the biggest impact in the world that I can. Achievement unlocked. Rebirth. Yay! Oh, we, we saved Maze. We helped Maze be reborn like a phoenix from the flames i don't know anyway some other deep stuff like that um dolphins are evil thanks for playing thank you so much for the game i'm oh no <laughs> oh you can't you can't show me that again i'm gonna start crying oh it feels so long ago too it feels so long ago we were in that room and we just woke up and we're like what the heck are we doing here Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's the end of the game. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Just on a personal level, I just, I don't care how long I live. What I care more about is making the biggest, most positive impact I can on the world. Like leaving the world a better place than when I entered it is all I've ever wanted. And it's all I ever feel like I'll need to do in my life. Which, I mean, that's really a subjective thing. It's like, how do you actually measure what's the biggest impact you can make with your life? Like, and that's like the thing. It's like, I don't know. It, it was one of those things where it was like, Nico made a big impact in individual lives. Like everyone they came into contact with, they changed their life in some small way. Even if it was just for like a fraction of their life. We were there for it and we were there and made an impact in their life. So it was like one of those things where it was like... Nico really did... I don't know. It's just... It's crazy to think about. So I guess like in a way the choice kind of reflected how I felt. Is like 
I could have saved Nico. And it would have been the other way around. Like, everyone we met in the world had a short but lasting impression on Nico. And, like, they had made the biggest impact in Nico's life because then Nico could have gone home. And I hope, please don't hate me for this decision. Like, I understand some people are going to be very, very upset with this, uh, this decision. Some people won't care. Some people will agree that it was the best decision to make. But hopefully, if anything, this game kind of shows you how hard it is. Or, like, rather, it shows you... It, it's a good standing point. It's a good middle ground to show people what it's like to be in other people's shoes. Because, like, I didn't make the same decision as everyone else, but I feel like everyone can understand where I was coming from when making that decision because they had to make the same decision if you played the game. And if you didn't, oh my god, please do. Like, that was a heartbreaking and very tough decision to make. <laughs> Probably the toughest decision I've ever had to make in a game. Um, but, I mean, oh my god. There's such a difference between, like, watching a game and playing it. And once you're, like I said, once you're in another person's shoes, once you're in that perspective, it changes everything. So yeah, oh my god. That was an amazing game. I can't... I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> like, the music was amazing. The characters, obviously, oh my gosh, it was just like Undertale all over again. Like, Undertale, admittedly, Undertale seemed like a walk through a daisy field compared to this. Because obviously, you want to, like, help everyone. Like, and that's the other thing, too. I didn't do the genocide route, and I never will. I, like, never. <laughs> so, like... I can say that for me, Undertale seemed like a walk through a daisy field, even though there are people who have done the pacifist, the genocide, and the normal route, and I don't know how they did it. I would never be able to do the genocide or the normal route now that I've done the pacifist route. But oh my god, either way, this game, oh dude. It, I keep comparing it to Undertale because of the fact that it had such a huge impact on me just like Undertale did. Like that game... I still wish I could go back and play it so much. I don't want to talk about the game too much, but just overall, I love that game to bits. And I love the characters in that game to bits. And now I, it's the same thing again. Like, I love Nico so much. Like, I've never gotten so quickly attached to a character. And it's insane. It really is. And, like, the fact that, like, the game made it feel like such a tough decision, because, like... Usually, especially, like, for example, I'm going to be using different games to compare, like, to better uh, express my emotions during the game and better express where I'm coming from. So hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from. I'm not trying to compare the games. I'm just trying to help you guys understand my mindset, if that makes sense. So, like, for example, in Mass Effect, that was a great game. I like the decision making in that game, but I never felt that kind of connection with it. I was just like... It's a game. It doesn't really matter what I choose. Like, it's not going to have any overall lasting impact on me. But this game honestly felt like such a huge decision. And it felt like it's going to have a lasting impression on me. Because, like, whenever I, like, look at the game in my Steam library or I go back and I, like, see that I made a playthrough of this game when I go back and check old videos in the, in the faraway future, probably in, like, a couple weeks. Like, when I'm going through, I'm going to see this and be like... I made that decision, and I I still stand by the decision. I still feel like it was, I it was a tough decision. It probably wasn't the best decision for a lot of people. For a lot of people, they probably felt like that was not a good decision. But I stand by it, and I believe it was the right thing to do. Like there was, that's the other thing too. It didn't feel like there was a right thing to do. There, it didn't feel like a right and a wrong. Both felt wrong. But, I mean. I don't regret the decision, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I was trying to figure out where I was trying to go with that. But, like, I don't regret the decision. I don't regret it. And I don't think Nico would regret it either. Oh, my God. But this was such a great game. I don't want to talk for much longer. I feel like I've been talking for forever now. Uh, and I know this episode is going to be over what I usually do. It's going to be over 30 minutes. So thank you so much if you watch all this. But, oh, my God. It was such an amazing game. It was such an amazing experience. And it was such a, an amazing little adventure. Um, so I do want to thank uh, Little Cat Feet who developed the game. And 
Dejika or De- Degika. I'm, I'm not sure how to say it. I'm sorry. But thank you guys so much for the game. I don't, I know they'll probably never see this, but it was amazing. And I can't express enough how much of an impact this game had on me. And it was adorable. Um, I believe also they came out with a Solstice update. I'm not sure if I'm going to play that. Like, at least on the channel. I'll probably play it on my own time. But as for, like, the story, I feel like this is a good place to leave it. Like, just leaving it so you guys can make your own decisions, come up with your own opinions. And I'd love to hear what you guys think of the decision. Um, but yeah, just, this seems like a good place to leave it. And I don't want to play the Solstice update, because I want to leave something for you guys to play. Um, so if you guys want to play that, by all means, I'll leave a link to the game in the description. And I believe the update is free. So... I think so. Let me double check on that. Okay, so the Solstice update is included with the game. You don't have to pay anything additional for it. The only DLC I could find was for the soundtrack, if you want to pay for that. Which I will be. Uh, after I'm done recording, I'll probably get the soundtrack. Because it's such a cute little soundtrack. I like it. Um, but overall, this entire journey, this entire adventure with Nico was absolutely amazing. And I want to thank you guys if you decided to join us for the journey. Or if you just decided to come in on the last episode to see what decision other people were making and see, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to do that, not going to lie. <laughs> Once I'm done recording for the day, I'm probably going to go look up one-shot playthroughs and see what decisions other people made. So yeah, just thank you so much. If you decide to join Nico and I on this little adventure, it makes it all the more meaningful of a journey. And it was such a fun time, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So that's the end of one-shot, and that's the end of this playthrough. So I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!